All right, what is going on, everybody? Brian back with another live stream. So today, I'm going to be hopping in and checking out this game, This War of Mine. I want to make sure that all my settings were good. Um, but this is a game I've been wanting to try for quite a bit. Um, so there's two ways I see that we can start this game. Um, we like pick one of these people here and we get to like choose our a story. I don't I don't know what that means. Like we can start as a kid or is it like multiple people? Okay, as multiple people there. Marin, Arisa, Edia. The only thing is I'm kind of sketch about having a kid with me cuz I don't know how this game really works. So um but then I also seen this thing where you can do my story. And it's like more customizable. Uh you can pick when late winter comes, I guess. Uh, you can change the harshness, the length, uh, the map. I don't I don't know if we're going to do any of that. We might just start with the base. Um, whatever these are. But that's just thing. So who do we want to start with, guys? Should we have a kid? I don't know. Start with a kid, or don't start with a kid? I feel like, you know, having a kid, that will, that will, uh, that will pump in the, the urgency. You know, but I feel like it's just going to make it hard. <laughs> this game is brutal. Oh, shit. <clears throat> make it true to my family so that's the thing is I don't I don't know how let me see somebody said Marco with this guy right here Pavel Bruno and Marco Nathan watch Crystal make chicken you know, it was so good Nathan Are we, you know what how about this we're just gonna go random there it is we're just gonna we're just gonna go on random and and see what the game gives me I feel like that's the uh, that's the best way. So what, I don't know what this means here. It says force final cut content. With this option enabled, you can be sure you'll be playing the content of final cut scenario with new locations. Otherwise, I guess that won't matter to me because I've never played any of the content. So, so we're gonna go random. Uh, sure. Day one. So, this is like a wartime survival game, from what I heard. <clears throat> okay, so, we got, what, three, I can see three survivors already. It's a big-ass house. Okay, war took everybody by surprise. Okay, those are my three people. Uh, at first, people were shocked, struggling to adjust their new deadly reality. Now, they just try to survive the next day, looking for food and supplies and avoiding danger. Livia got pregnant just before the war, and her husband, Peter, went out to get food and didn't return. She started desperately searching for him and then met Marco, former firefighter. And Zleda, a uh, musical school student, they decided to band together to survive. Is she still pregnant? Wait, so I got a pregnant lady in my group? Zleda. Yeah, she's pregnant. Drag for more? I don't know. Uh, she's a good cook, though. Damn. And then we got... Uh, so Marco is a skilled scavenger. She's pregnant and a good cook. And she bolsters spirits. Okay, so... I'll take it this is our base. It's 71 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Ooh, explosions. Um, so, 
Okay, here we go. I can see. Is this a kitchen? So we have no food right now at all. What is this? Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay, so I can click on a survivor and have them, like, do shit. So this is my workshop. Uh, you can... You can craft beds. Uh, I can craft a heater, radio, crude stove, moonshine still, metal workshop, rainwater collector. Okay, so if we need water... Uh, that's to purify water and fuel. Alright, so we can craft, like, some pretty basic level stuff. We have a workshop built. Oh, wait, hold on. You can upgrade a workshop. Okay, so we're not worried about that right now. Um. Cool. You have this game played for 10 minutes before the UI sent me back to zombies. Play this game for me, Brian. Let me know what I'm missing. Yeah, I, I, I got it. I'll let you know for sure, dude. So... I'll take it. We just got to build up our base or something. So maybe we got to get beds. Let me see. Do we have any beds in here at all? Because I know I, I think I can craft beds on this workshop, right? Yeah, I got enough. I got enough resources to craft uh, one bed. So we'll just go ahead and uh, let's see. Craft a bed. How do I make it? One bed will be made, but it doesn't say I can... Oh, I don't have the components. I have zero. So maybe we can loot. Can we loot these hands? What does a hand mean? Okay, look, okay, yeah, so we're finding resources here. Um, we'll grab all that. We found some water. We found some fuel, some wood. All right, good to go. So let me see what this does. We're going to send this lady to do some loot, and we'll get everybody doing something. We'll get the whole base cleared out and looted. So that's how we get some starter supplies. Yeah, I know. I got the pregnant lady putting in work right now. Okay, nice final lock pick. What is that? Sugar. Uh, more water. Materials. Okay, so we're doing all right. We're doing all right. We're getting some decent resources. Pregnant lady hit that up. Um, now we can lock pick this door. And then we'll have her do that. She's sitting down. She's the pregnant lady, right? Yep. Um, maybe we should have her just go do something easy, like loot those piles. And we'll have this dude come up here and clear this trash. So we still don't have any food. Grab all that. And we'll have her loot that. Maybe they'll find some food left over in here. Cause yeah, it's, whoa, what are you doing, dude? Oh, I um, nice looking at. We found a little raw food. Uh, it's edible, but be much more nutritious when cooked. Why is this dude stopping what I told him to do? I think I may have been on him. Marco, go do that. Marco's over here slacking, guys. Let's see, we'll remove that barricade. Damn, it takes them a while to actually clear out these um, rubble piles. But we got a little bit of food. I wonder how much. So, does each person eat like one food? Zach, what's going on, brother? Because if, uh, if that's the case, yo, we're screwed. All right, listen, pregnant lady, I'm sorry, but you gotta, you gotta put some, you gotta put some work in.
Okay, awesome. So we got that cleared there. Uh, we need something to open this lock. I wonder if we can craft lock picks or something. Okay, so we can build bed. Um, let's go ahead and make a bed. Uh, maybe we can put one down here. So we'll get her making a bed. Alright. So he's gonna be able to get up there and loot. So we got everybody doing a little bit of everything. Okay, so the top floor is good. We'll just gotta clear this last rubble here and we can check this. Uh, we got some stuff in the backyard we, can, we gotta get to once we clear this rubble. Okay, so bed one is complete. And I think we'll do... We go see what else we can do at the workshop. I'm not gonna get Eric killed. I gotta include food for the baby. Get out of here. No way. So let's see here. Um, allow us, us to make tools such as shovels for clearing rubble, crowbars for breaking doors, and knives for self defense. Yes. We need that right now. Um, we'll build this right here. Alright, so she's working on that. Um, I don't believe we can get through this door, right? Yeah, so we're gonna have to get, like, a, a crowbar down here. So for right now, we'll leave that alone. We'll send, or no, we'll send him down to clean up this pup. rubble. We'll go outside with pregnant lady. What time is it? It's almost nighttime. the night okay so plan the night uh, we can have somebody sleep in the bed we can have them on guard wait which one was the pregnant lady she's the pregnant lady right yeah so we'll have the pregnant lady sleep in the bed um we'll have her on guard and then have a scat. So. Oh, okay. And then we go to these locations. So is it like a simulated thing? Like, uh. It just like simulates what happens when they go out scavenging. So I definitely want to have somebody on guard. Um. But are they awake all night is the question. Like, how does that? Oh, you play it. Job, what's going on, brother? How you doing, man? Never was. How you doing? Oh, so you actually scavenge. Okay, so yeah, we'll scavenge with Marco. He's a skilled scavenger. And uh, well, yeah, we'll leave... It's so later on guard. We'll let the, the, the pregnant lady sleep. Oh, they're up all night? Of course they are. All right, so let's see. We got, um, these are our different locations we could go to. This is our shelter here. So this garage is pretty close by. There's some food here, huge amount of materials, uh, some medicine, lots of parts, possible trade, caution advice. So it says, before the war, you could have your car repaired there. It was a decent family business run by an impulsive son and his elderly father. If they still live there, they might be willing to trade with us. Alternatively, alternatively, we might find lots of useful parts there and maybe even some food. So food is definitely something we need to get right now. That says some food, but the ruined block of flats. This actually says um, lots of food. So it says, this block of flats has seen some heavy fighting. Most people have fled the area before um, the Venetian rebels 
clash there with the military. The battle is over now, and there should be many things left to scavenge uh, because people left in a rush. And then we have the decrepit squat. A huge amount of materials, lots of weapons, and lots of parts. Uh, says it's been inhabited by homeless uh, since long before the war. They've been struggling with the lack of food and might not have survived the recent shortages. They shouldn't be a threat, and we could find some useful things there. Okay, so I think first things first, we're going to go here and we're going to try to get food. That should be the focus of our mission, uh, just trying to get some food. Air. Okay, so uh, we don't have any weapons or anything, but we got an empty backpack. Let's do it. Let's go scavenge. We'll see how this works. Oh, okay, so I have my fists and scavenge, so we can fight if we have to. Uh, it's so empty and quiet here, it gives me the creeps. Zach, how you doing, man? Oh, what is this? We found some bullets. A bullet, so we'll take that. Um, components. You know, it's, we'll take all of this. We'll just take it all. I don't know how much we're going to find here, so. Pretty chill spot. Grab all that. Okay, so the wood doesn't stack very high. We gotta watch our inventory. Yeah, it's filling up pretty. I thought I thought the wood might stack a little higher than that. Uh, the baby carriage is isn't empty. A few objects lie scattered inside. A rattle, a smiling red cab, worn baby teeth, and a feeding bottle half full of congealed mass. That's probably baby formula. Someone must have left in a terrible rush. Maybe they didn't need them anymore. That's... That's pretty sad. Let's grab this bullet. Um... Oh, no, that bullet's in my inventory. Looking at the wrong thing. Uh, here we go. So we got some food. We'll take the food take these parts what weapon parts I don't it all just seems so important to me we're just gonna grab everything for right now I, I can empty out my inventory if I, I we only got three slots left so you can peek through doors I guess to be careful go upstairs I was hoping for some more food than this Okay, so we got food. It's a lot of a lot of materials here. So can I come back to this location and like loot the stuff that we leave? Or is it like you only get this one chance, you gotta pick what you want and Or how does it work? So I could come back. Oh, dump some of this. Might take a couple of these woods. Yeah, we'll have to come back and do a material. So I can't get through here either. We need a freaking saw. Yami, yeah, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. So a lot of materials. We got a lot of materials in here. Let's go down here and check. 
Uh, but two of the locations I can't even get into. Like, here there looks like there's a bunch of good stuff. I can't even get into there because I need a saw. Here we go. Wow. Okay. You guys are saying leave the ammo behind? I don't need it. Well, if that's the case, let me grab some more crafting components. Let's see if we can find some more food. Yeah, this game's on Steam. So what is this? It looks like a rotten tomato. Or use this bait. Uh, so let's grab that. What is this? Grab electric parts. Do these stack? Yep, those stack. And those stack. I'm trying to find more stuff that stacks. So let's grab, uh, we'll grab another stack of components. And a wood. So we ended up getting two chunks of meat. And that was it. They said there was a lot of food here, but I'll take it. It's probably in the freaking locked areas I can't get into. But there was far from, if they're saying that this is a lot of food. Okay, so it looks like we have, like, only a certain amount of time to loot also. But yeah, we're going to have to come back here with a saw, I think that said. Yeah, I need a saw blade. Okay, well that's that, guys. This location has been hit. Uh, we'll run to the exit. Not the uh, most successful scavenging run I've ever had, but... We're going to have to go check that other location. Uh, so can you do that every night? Like every night you go on a scavenging run? Okay, yeah. So um, the night was calm. Marco has been searching for supplies and brought home some interesting things. Love you, baby. Uh, we brought back a little bit of food. Um, continue. We got brought back some building resources. Now, she's pregnant and hungry. We'll bring her up to the kitchen. She is hungry and tired. Bring her up to the kitchen, and he is hungry and tired. So, we're going to let him... We're going to have to get some food in, everybody. But I want to see what I can do here in the kitchen. Is there a way to, like, cook food? Let me see. Workshop. I got resources now. Build a stove. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, yeah, crude stove top. Yeah, we got the resources. So let's build this. Everybody's standing in line for food, man. Yo, this is rough. This is really, really rough. Everybody's so tired. She's tired. She got good sleep, though. Um, okay, so we got a stove built. What does this say? Okay, wait. I had a good cook, right? Her? Have her cook. Um, so she can make... Okay, we need more water. Oh, I need more water for this. And the veggies and shit. But I can do this one. So we'll just do this three times. Okay. Why can't I do it? Oh, it takes three out of four water. Man, we have like no water, dude. People ain't eating. I 
I can only do one meal. Okay, well our scavenger, he'll eat the meal. The rest of them are just gonna have to eat some raw food or something. Okay, so Marco's gonna- I'm gonna send him to bed. He's our scavenger. Let's let him get some good sleep. Um... Pregnant lady isn't tired, but she's hungry. And she's tired. So we're gonna go ahead and- get, let's see if we can get another bed made. Dude, this shit is hard. I'm already struggling. I mean, we- uh, the pregnant chick, she's gotta eat, for sure. I can't even do another bed. I'm out of I'm out of components. Oh, um pregnant lady, go loot outside. There's still these two locations outside we needed to check. We'll have hungry lady here. Hungry tired lady. Uh see if we can get this pile broken down. Awesome. Nice. So we'll grab all that. We'll have you, instead of breaking down that pile, we'll have her go ahead and... What is this? Oh, this was my metalworking bench. Yep, so now that's done. What can we craft? Oh, there we go, there we go. So we can craft up a knife. Which we're gonna make a knife. Pregnant lady will go over here and check the tree fort. Get a water maker. Yeah, dude. We need water bad. There we go. So we got some more stuff there. We got a little bit of water. I gotta I gotta see though. Water maker and another bed. I don't see a oh right here. I need more uh, components. So we'll have her go chill on the chair for a bit. Um, we're going to have her go down. Pregnant lady is going to go clear out this uh, trash pile here. Oh, we can, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, loot this first. It's locked, of course it's freaking locked. Um, I could craft a crowbar though, right? Let me see, we can, might be able to get a crowbar. Got a couple locked doors that we could probably get into. I think this down here was locked, and... Yeah, so you know what? Let's let's make a crowbar. Even though I I uh, yeah, screw it. We'll make the crowbar. Well, the thing was is I was thinking about doing the crowbar, but then I was like, I need that rain collector, and I'm not gonna have enough components. But I'm hoping that we get enough components out of these locked. Um, okay, so he's awake. We'll actually have her go to bed, and we'll have him finish this job. He's fucking tired as shit. Yeah, so let's go unlock, uh, unlock these now. With the crowbar. No, no, not you. You come over here and finish. No, where are you going? Alright, so he's breaking this open now. There we go. Oh, look at this, guys. We got meds, um, sugar, and some books. Not really what I was hoping for, but... It will do for now, and we'll go pry that one open. We got a couple different things we're gonna pry open, so we're gonna have this guy work. Oh, it's almost nighttime already, man. The days go by so fast. I can't feed her yet. She's got to wait till tomorrow.
Okay, so we got some water. Night time's here. Damn it. Okay. Um. So we'll let her stay in bed. Oh, she can't go on guard? Why? Is it because she's pregnant? So she can't even go on guard. Hmm. Oh, we unlocked some new places too. We got military outposts, lots of food. Those who aim to trade each other during the day often trade with each other at night. These soldiers have a lot of goods and they're willing to trade, especially for alcohol or cigarettes. But be careful, you never know what to expect from them. Uh, it says it's danger, possible trade, huge amount of parts, huge amount of weapons, lots of med, lots of food. Um, I might actually go check out this garage and see if we can get our hands on some, uh, some food from there. And, uh, it says there's possible trade, so I might try to bring some stuff with me to trade. I'm not gonna mess the military outpost, that sounds a little sus. But, uh, damn, she's tired, man. I gotta put her back on guard. I feel so bad. And she hasn't eaten. All right, we'll go with that. We're gonna go, we're gonna hit the garage. And, uh, we'll bring the crowbar with us. And the knife. For protection. Let me see. We could maybe trade the cigarette. I don't know if I want to trade the meds. That sounds really, really... Here we go. What is this? We can use them for fuel. <laughs> um, hmm. So it's like, I don't even know what to bring for trade, to be honest with you. Guess we're just going to have to go. I, I don't want to trade our meds, though, because... I don't, it seems like if people get sick, that could get pretty dangerous. Okay, here we go. We got, okay, so we got some locations here we can hit. Um, of course, yeah, we'll, we'll take that stuff for now. Someone scrawled on a wall. No more hiding. We meet in heaven. Wow. Holy shit. That's a lot of materials. So I'll hold off on that for now. <laughs> We know where we can come to get a bunch of materials, though. Hey, you, I need meds for my father got some. Damn, we don't even... Should have brought the damn meds, man. Okay, so this... Wow, they got food. They got real food, too. Look at this. Um, I need bandages and, and medicine for my father. Yo, this... They got everything, guys. They got a freaking axe. You have to show me a lot in exchange. Okay, so we're just here for some food. So what is this? Canned food. Canned meal. So... Grab one of those. Two of those. Maybe two food. Okay, so they want more. Shit. Man. Not interested in everything we have. Or anything we have. Can 
Can I at least get one can of food, dude? Fuck, man. This dude won't give me anything. Uh, can I get... Oh. You won't do try hard. Oh, my God. I didn't bring enough to trade. Well, at least... So don't act stupid, just leave. Can I just go in their house and... No, that'd be fucked up. Well, that was a wasted trip. There goes one more day without eating. Oh, we can get up there. Look at that. More, more freaking materials, man. A lot of materials up here. Okay, so it looks like there's people in there. A couple people in there, actually. Yeah, so this place is just full chock stupid with building materials. Go grab some more lumber. So not quite um, the payout we expected. We actually got no food, which... That's rough. It's rough. But we should be able to get our rain collector built. Wait, what? What do they mean? We've been raided. Someone came at night to take our things by force. I had a guard, though. We were attacked at night. Marco has been searching. Someone tried to rob us. They must have been more scared than us, so they didn't do much harm. Too bad we had no weapons. None of us were wounded, but the attacker walked off with many... Do you guys see what they took? Do you guys see what they took? They took my food and my fucking water. And all my fuel. Involved. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's game over. That's game over. Pregnant and hungry. We got nothing to eat. We got nothing. 
Go finish the trash pile, pregnant hungry lady. She's very tired. We gotta get it. Let me see. Can I build a bed? Put two people sleeping at a time. She's hurting, guys. Okay, so where does this have to be placed? Does it have to be placed somewhere specific? Actually, we'll have her build it. She's got to fucking sleep, man. Let's go ahead and get a bed built. We're like super tired. We'll have her build that bed and then sleep. This is rough, guys. This is hard. Who the fuck is that? He's got some shit that we could buy. Um, We need food and water, dude. Like, bad. Let me see. Can I get... Food. So I'm getting those bandages off him, but then I'm gonna... I don't know. We'll see what we can get. Okay, first of all... Let me see. Does he want these books? Won't do. Try harder. Two books. Three books. Okay, so he doesn't really care about my books. Medicine. Yo, medicine is where it's at, dude. Holy crap. Fuck. Okay, so he doesn't care about that either. He'll trade me one food for all of that. Ooh, okay, so these electric components, yeah, these do good. Let me see if I can get... ...both food. Okay. I want to get some of his... Uh, I want to get some of his water. Okay, we were able to get all of his water. Maybe I can get this bandage? Ooh. I wanted the bandage because I can trade it for more food tonight when we go on our mish. Um. Not enough. Yeah, getting that, that bandage from him is going to be just too much. I'll tell you, the medicine here is probably just as hard to get. Yeah, 
That is what it is. Uh, at least we got the food and the water. My people won't starve. Let me go ahead and take some of this back. Man, that was a uh, that was a lucky, lucky break right there. We're gonna have her sleep a bit. Um, so I can't go ahead and craft up any meals, but we do have a little bit of food here, so we're gonna go ahead and have. He's hungry and tired. We'll have pregnant lady eat. And I'll I'll have my uh Let's go get this door open up here while these people sleep. And I'll think I'll have my scavenger eat. This is hard. This is a really, really hard game. Okay, so our scavenger is rested. Let's go dismiss that guy. We're gonna have him eat also. I only had enough food for two people to eat outside. Or eat today. Um, hold on. Let me... That's how I'm gonna leave. Hope snipers won't see me. All right, we'll have uh, Marco eat. Damn, I feel bad. Th but this lady, I think one of these ate. I think she was the one that ate the first day. Okay, so Marco ate. Raven with the super chat. Thank you so much. That is huge. Maybe we'll find a little bit of food uh, in this locker, but I, I highly doubt it. Uh, check out Deadlight. I've never even heard of that one, Batman. Yeah, I've never heard of that one. So I'm hoping that we can trade them meds tonight. For food. Or should we go on a skip? See, that's the thing is, should I go back to that place and trade? Because I only got the one thing of meds. Or should we try to go somewhere else and loot? Got that open. There, look at that. Hell yes. We got a bandage and a little bit of food. I'm going to go down here. We're going to cook up some food for um, her when she wakes up. And everybody gets to eat today. Oh, make the saw blades? Yo, I never even thought about the saw blades. Yeah, because we really didn't get the a lot of food that that place... I can't even do saw blades. I think I gotta upgrade my workshop. And we don't have enough components, so... We're gonna be out on the lookout for food and components tonight. And now, I know I... We're definitely gonna go back to that place. I'm gonna trade um, the boy for food. And, and then we'll... Uh, So she's pregnant. She's sh hopefully. We'll trade for the boy for food and then we'll, we'll loot components. 
I was hoping that she would, uh... So we're gonna let her sleep. Um, all night. We'll let her sleep in the bed. And... Damn. I forgot, we can't... Actually, no, she's gonna have to be up. Fine. We'll put her on guard with the knife. We'll have pregnant lady sleep in the bed. He's gonna scavenge. Oh, look. Some new places popped up. Uh, we got small apartments. Lots of food there. Owned by an elderly couple and their son, if they are still around. Somehow managing to fend off looters. Uh, they'll probably have supplies like food and meds, but won't be willing to share them with us. We can try to steal or take them by force. Hmm. Yeah, I'm... I mean, I'm not that desperate to where I would have to do some shit like that. They say some people still live there. Uh, against all odds, they must have supplies stocked like canned food and possibly bandages or medicine. But they don't want to trade. If we're desperate, we could try to steal. Damn, there's a lot of stealing going on here. So I think we might... Um, I mean, I did get raided. That is very, very true. But I still feel like it's messed up. You know what I mean? I'm going to stick to my original plan. We'll go trade for food. And I'll loot the resources. So we got bandages and medicine. We should be able to get a good amount of food for that, I hope. We'll leave the knife for base. And I'll take the... We'll leave the crowbar. First, let's uh, see how much food we can get. Medicine or bandages. So yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna try to get all of this food. Here we go. Boom. I can give you a lot for this. Boom. So let's see. Oh, we got all three. Nice. I mean, even if that's the case, that's still a good amount of food. Maybe we could throw some water in. I think that's a pretty good deal. I think that's a pretty good deal right there. It's tons of food. Uh, well, not tons, but that's at least another day's worth of food for everybody. Vegetables help save the other research. Oh, man. That only problem is I don't think I'll be able to get any veggies from them. I could try to trade a kid again. See if we can sell him some of these lumber and parts and shit, but they don't really care to seem to care about that type of stuff. To the rest components. So what did I need? I need a saw. Oh, this will bring me into their house. I could try to trade 
for the veggies, see if this kid will hook me up. Okay, let's see. Kid, give me the veggies. Nah, he doesn't care. It is what it is. We made out pretty good. I, I got I can't complain. Yeah, I, well, it says I don't have. It said I had one, but I didn't have one on me. I, I don't have a saw blade. Yeah, we're doing good though. I feel like we're doing all right. You know what I mean? Night was calm. We didn't get robbed again because that would have been miserable. Uh, she's pregnant and hungry. She's very hungry and very tired, so we're going to go ahead and have her eat. We're going to have him eat. We'll have him sleep. We'll have pregnant lady eat, and we'll have her sleep. Okay, so I did not build a rain collector yet. So once pregnant lady eats, why didn't my rain collector get built? Guys, almost 150 likes. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Yo, this game is super brutal, guys. Um, sorry, mommy has nothing better to eat. Oh, she's talking to the... She's still hungry, this lady. Okay, let's go ahead. Look at getting this rain collector built so we can get uh, a, at least a constant flow of water. That's why we didn't get it built. Who the hell is this? Have something for you. Let's talk. It's gonna. We live several blocks from here. We saw that you took refuge uh, in this building, and since we're supposed to be neighbors, we decided to pay you a visit and say hello. We brought you some vegetables from our garden. I can't. What? Thank you so much, dude. We can get a meal cooked up with that. Um, how do I cook up the double meal? Oh, I need more fuel. Okay. So let's get a fuel. That. Let's do a double meal. Yo, the veggies make it... Yeah, definitely definitely make it worth it. Now we're stretching our food out a, a little bit more. Nice. So yeah, we had some neighbors come by. They freaking just dropped us off some uh, some vegetables from their garden. We need to get a garden, actually. Well, I gotta figure out how to do that. Um, so we'll build this ring collector upstairs. I don't know um, what facility 
Because I didn't see a garden in the in the, the workshop. Unless it's in the upgraded workshop. Yo, this dude is awesome. He like doesn't sleep for real. Let's go look at upgrading our workshop. Um, and appliances provided with more options to get food or meds, trade goods. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to definitely upgrade that then. See, we're coming along. We got our upgraded workshop going. Um, we got food. We got water now. It's beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. Uh, let me see. Is there anything around the base that she can do? Not really. We'll have her just go. We'll have her go lay down for a little bit. Okay, so we'll check our workshop now. Okay, here we go. So now we can board up the base. Um, more protection Johnny against. Donated five dollars. I'm here. The party can officially get started. Brian, stop slacking. I don't get why bakers aren't wealthier. They make so much dough. <laughs> Swanee, what's up, brother? Man, thank you so much, dude. Yeah, so we can... I can do an herbal garden, which allows me to grow medicine or uh, cheap cigarettes. Um, and I can improve it to grow veggies. Herbal workshop. Moonshine... Uh, to make booze. That'll probably be good trading. Small animal traps. That'll help us get meat. But yeah, so we're gonna board up our base a bit. I'll have him do that. Pregnant lady will also board up the base a little bit. So I wonder, did I have to turn this on, or does it automate? Oh, I don't have a filter for it, do I? What am I gonna name the baby? We're not having it. I hope she doesn't have that baby. That'd be so. That'd be. Oh, we're, we'd be screwed. Need to prepare. Okay, so what do we need? Um, I need these right here. Let's go see if we can craft up some of those filters. Yep, right here. So I'll make one of these filters. Well, I got the knife for for my my base guards. Okay, yeah, so I can't board up anymore. We're we're, we're out of resources. Yo, this lady sleeps for fucking ever, dude. She's been asleep since um the day went by, like since we started the day. Oh, she finally got up, like, literally at the last second. Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh, make some fresh water. We'll have her eat. Here we go. So everybody is good. This dude's not going to be able to finish the water by time. 
uh, this starts. We'll have to continue this action in the morning. Yo, our community's in a good spot, though, guys. Here we go. All right. Um, Private will sleep. She'll be on guard. We have that knife at base, so we'll leave that for her. Marco's going to scavenge. Now we got to find a new place. Against all odds, they must have supply stock that can food and possibly... But if they don't want to trade, if we're desperate, we can try to steal from them. I don't know how I feel about... Feel about that. This is the one we need the saw for. Let me see. Can I, can I like, craft a saw? No, I can't. I was supposed to craft one of those before we left. Okay, so this just has lots of weapons, lots of parts, but there's no food here. Surrounded by old building. Unfortunately, numerous incidents with civilians shot out there earned its nickname Sniper Junction. We may find valuable things there, but it's very, very risky. So it's like, is it worth taking the risk? You know what I mean? Dude, I don't even want to risk a sniper. Man, if one of my guys gets shot... Like, could you imagine what would happen if we lost Marco? Like, if he got caught a bullet? How would we even... I wouldn't even know how to take care of him. So I'm thinking about maybe this old apartment. Uh, it says it's owned by an elderly couple and their son. If they're still around, somehow managing to fend off looters. They probably have supplies like food and meds. Damn it. Can't steal from old people. I don't know, guys. I don't know what we should do. I mean, we could check it out. I'll bring a lock pick. the back of the building I should be able to sneak in yo am I really doing this clear. Sounds like there's somebody down here. This is their kitchen. Looks relatively clear. Shit, there's the old lady. She's going upstairs. Get in there, get in
Yo, we just stole everything, dude. Watch the karma come back and bite my ass right now. Awesome, night was calm. Look at all that food, guys. Look at all of that food. So we're going to have him eat, hit the rack. I'll have her cook up some food. Let him get some sleep. No. They'll get more food, Caspi. They'll get more. You know what I mean? I, I I doubt like that was all the food they had. You know what I mean? We definitely got to get some more um, fuel, though. I'm actually low on resources now. Like crafting stuff. Nah, they're good. They're good, guys. They got their son. Like, however they got all that food the first time, they could just do it again. Right? Go back and bear. You guys are savage. I didn't... It's not even that bad. They're fine. They're fine. You guys aren't going to make me... So she's hungry and tired. We're going to have her eat and then go to sleep. This lady just sleeps all day. She's so, like, she doesn't do anything. That's all she does. She eats her one meal and goes to sleep. <laughs> We're going to have her work on the uh, water. Oh, my God. Listen, guys, listen. What happened to my uh, rain collector filter? Did we use it up already? See, I didn't hurt anybody though, you know what I mean? I just did what I just I just took a little food. I I, I borrowed it, guys. I'll I'll return it. I'll I'll pay them back sometime. At uh, someday, you'll see. So we can't even do anything right now. I don't have enough uh crafting resources to really build anything around the base. Uh so we're gonna now that we have enough food to last us a little bit, I'll have uh Pregnant lady go. I don't have enough fuel, actually. So we'll kind of just have her chill. I didn't take everything. I only, I only robbed one room. I, I only robbed one room. All right. Damn, this dude's up already, man. Yo, Marco is that. He's that dude. Swanee donated five dollars. Lowest of the low, Brian. Special place in hell for people like you. I asked my wife if I was the only one she slept with. She said yes. The others were sevens and eights. Damn. Damn. Swanee. Does anybody else in chat have my back? I did what needed to be done. You know what I mean? Oh, the water fill. And it, okay. <laughs> Caspi said the one room they kept everything in. <laughs> Does anybody else got my back? 
Raven's got the. There it is. There it is. It needed to be done. I just, I just did what needed to be done. <laughs> Yo, this game is dope as shit. I'm not gonna lie, guys. This game is dope as shit. It's hard. It doesn't get any harder than this, though. It's probably, it's like the beginning. Or does it just stay hard the whole time you're playing? So if we upgrade this, we'll be able to. Uh, more tools such as an axe or saw blades. We can also fix simple broken firearms and helmets here. We can upgrade it even further to make ammo and fix bulletproof vests. Oh, wow. That sounds like shit gets really real. John Kowalkowski donated $5. They probably stole it also. You're good. Yo, it's John. See, that's what I'm saying. They're probably the ones that broke into my house. They, they're probably the ones that broke into my house, guys. Yeah, I should get a re... Uh, that's what we're going to be focusing on tonight is... Um, damn, everybody's just awake and standing around. Um, That's what we're going to be focusing on tonight's looting run is just getting more supplies so we can build... uh, Start building some more shit up. Well, look at that. Everybody's everybody's good. Nobody's hungry. Nobody's tired. We're doing we're doing big things. We're doing big things. Just trying to think where we we're gonna probably go to that. Uh, I'll probably go to the place with the homeless. Swanee donated five dollars. Special place in <laughs> hell. Uh, it's the it, it's I. I the special place in hell. You're talking about the room with the refrigerator and all the food in it, Swanee? Because that's where I'm going, brother. <laughs> I got no materials. I can't block up anything. We're literally empty. Wait, will they actually die? John Kowalkowski donated $5, but... But you did steal it. I didn't steal it. I just went in the room and took it. It's different. You know what I mean? It's not like I held him at gunpoint or knife point. You know what I mean? I just took it. It's different. You know, like it wasn't a violent robbery. It was just... I just took it. You know what I mean? I don't I don't know. I relocated it. That's all I did. Yeah, yeah, that, that that's that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. All I did was I just relocated their food for them. Granted, it was not armed robbery. <laughs> See, it's different. As long as it's not armed robbery. <laughs> it, it's fair game, right? <laughs> Mega said That's what I said to the cops As he put the cuffs on me <laughs> I just relocated the food Okay I took it from one area And I just put it in a different area Alright We're good We're good Alright so um, She will guard She will sleep Always Livia always sleeps. She's not good for scavenging either. She has a really small inventory. All right, so yeah, I think we're going to go to the decrepit squat. Huge amount of materials. <laughs> yeah, like the Easter egg. Exactly, guys. It's just, you know... I'm, yeah, exactly. So we all seen how easy it was to break into their place and take their stuff. So what I did was I just took their stuff and moved it to my base where it has a less of a chance for people to break in and take it. So that's all I was doing. I'm out, I'm doing them a favor. Do you know what I mean? Uh, 
And um, this, for those of you guys that didn't serve in the military, this is this is what they say. This is the common, the common like the number one thing that is said about people in the military is there's only one thief in the military. One. Everybody else is just trying to get their shit back. And that's I didn't John start this. John Kowalski donated five dollars. I'm glad I live on the West Coast. <laughs> John. I didn't start this, all right? My shit got stolen first, and all I'm doing is trying to get it back. Scotty, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. FJ, thank you for the sub. All right. Um... We'll bring the crowbar, just in case there's something we gotta break into. And we'll leave the knife for uh, base defense. Alright, here we go. I'm not gonna steal from anybody this time. That was the one and only time. We had to do it once, and I, I feel bad. Okay, here we go. But look at this, okay. Got some water. Definitely want all these gears. Oh, the sugar can stay for right now. I'm gonna start grabbing some lumber. Yeah, Mr. DeMarc! What the seven months? You just took what foot you could find. I didn't know it belonged to anybody. I just I just seen it there, so I took it. I still probably check. Swandy donated five dollars. If I ever come visit, I'll be sure to keep my wallet in my front pocket, sleep with one eye open, <laughs> and never turn my back on you, Brian. I've never stolen from anybody in real life that I can remember. Maybe when I was a kid, I think I like, I think I stole some uh, Dragon Ball Z action figures from um, one of my friend's house, and then I brought it back like two days later and told him I accidentally thought it was mine. And uh, I definitely stole this kid's Pokemon cards. He had a um, he had a Charizard and it was all like crinkled up. You know what I mean? Like he had to bent it in half and he had it in his um, I went to a Pokemon tournament at Toys R Us. Toys R Us used to have a Pokemon tournaments and you can go there and actually win like badges and shit. I was like fucking seven, eight. I was so little and um, he left his little he had a, he had a Pokemon card book like where he would store all his cards, but it looked like a Pokedex. And um, I hella went in there. I took his Charizard. Uh, I took a, a, his Blastoise and like a couple of other cards. Just snatched them shits. <laughs> I felt so bad. Now I feel bad as a kid. I, I don't think I cared very much, but I feel bad now. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. This place is like... I feel like everybody stole some shit as a kid, you know what I mean? Alright, so we need more components, the actual components now. KFC, how you doing? Dear Marsha, I found a shelter among the homeless, but I am no longer a teacher or an artist. I am one of them now. There is not much food, so some of my friends already left us, but do not be worried. I will to seek a uh, more appropriate refuge as soon as I am finished my painting. Let's finish checking out this house. Here we go. We've got a lot. Oh, wait. There's somebody here. Oh shit, they're coming at me. Very hungry, could you help me? But you have nothing to trade. I'll die in a few days without food.
Oh, look at this. We got cigarettes. Uh, we could probably sell that at the military outpost, right? Dude, I don't know what to tell you, man. He's asking for food, guys. Swanee donated five dollars. He's very hungry. Can you help him by stealing everything thing he has? Why? Yes. Yes, Brian can. He doesn't want this stuff. It's just here. He told me himself that he doesn't want this stuff. He won't bother me anymore. Well, you seem like you're still... Brother, if I had food, man, I'd give you something. I I'd give him the sugar. Damn, that's a lot of re materials right there. So let me drop some of these, grab some more of these... This dude got me feeling guilty as shit. Give him some sugar water. Hey, G Nick, thank you so much for the sub, brother. I appreciate it. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. I, I didn't have any food outbreak of crime. What does that mean? Please don't tell me my base got raided. We were attacked at night. Someone tried to rob us. They came in first and we were armed, but they didn't do much harm. We had some weapons, but not enough for everyone. Zelta and were wounded by the attacker. Took a few things. They stole one of my meat and my cigarettes. My people got wounded. Uh, it's rather chilly inside. Damn, it is dropping down pretty low. It's 55 degrees. Yeah, we're going to have to get some more weapons. Um, do up some... Yeah, man, this feels expensive. So I'm going to make two fuel here. Get him to bed. Yeah, this is just it. Uh, well, I mean, I think that you can do like custom, a uh, custom game, and like make the game harder if you want. But this shit is already hard. Like, it's so hard. I don't even have any medicine or bandages, so my people are wounded, and there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, so let's go see. Um, I don't even know if I have enough resources now. I had to craft that fuel. We got a trader, okay. So 
So my people are starting to complain about the cold. Damn, I kind of wanted to go trade that military caravan. Or the military peeps. I could buy this bandage. But I wanted to trade the cigarettes and shit to the military guys. What is this? It's herbs. I really don't have shit to trade, do I? So the trader doesn't really have much in the way of anything I need. To. Um, let me go see what we need for uh, relax. We'll get another weapon crafted. Okay, I don't have enough weapon parts to do another knife. I mean, I don't think we can get robbed two nights in a row, right? doesn't really have much. We're just going to have to go trade that military group. So why is this dude being so savage? There's nothing I can do, man. I can't afford anything you have. I should bandage it before it gets worse. You guys want me to get robbed again? But why? Yeah, this is my first time playing, Zach. We're screwed, guys. I, I got two wounded people and no bandages. Let's see here. So we could do um, an animal trap. And we can bait it with that little rotten tomato. And maybe we can go ahead and catch ourselves some. Uh... Go ahead and catch ourselves some meat. That way we don't have to be uh, super savage. You know what I mean? The crowbar is a weapon, too. Okay, so then I'll just leave that behind. Can't do much about a heater. Okay, so here we go. Um, It's edible, but... So what is this? Components we need? No, I'll do the, this one. Okay, so we'll bait that trap. That's it. That's all I can do for right now. So maybe tonight I'll try to trade for some uh, some bandages. Man, this this shit is rough, dude. Okay, so slightly wounded and recovering. So she is recovering even without a bandage.
Having them just rest in the bed. Yep. Okay, so that gets them recovering. Alright, we're good. We're in good shape, guys. Whoop. Oh, damn. Yeah, so we gotta we gotta prioritize a heater. Slight Uwin is in a big deal. Okay. Yeah, they're recovering, so it's not a big deal. Check the bio to read about Marco's guilt. I'm glad we could trade those men. We can do it again. I wish uh, I could help Zelda. She looks so hungry. J5, poor guy. If I could only spare some food, I would have. I have to think about the others. So he doesn't care that I robbed those people. Oh shit, my story. The army is trying to break the rebels' moral by intense bombardment. It's suffered the most when we've been under fire for so long. You learn to predict the mortal shells will fall, the sound they make. Hope that man from the squat is okay. Maybe we should bring him food. So they care. Marco did not share food with that homeless man, but perhaps he was thinking about my baby. The baby is all that matters. So, yo, a lot of people care about that freaking, that dude. I remember for the first time it was yesterday, our eyes met. I was just talking about her, uh, baby's father. Damn, we just unlocked tons of areas. Okay, there we go. So, um, we'll have her sleep. We'll have him scavenge again. Her guard. So, I, man, it sucks because I can't have her on guard. I can't feed that guy. I don't have the food, guys. I can't afford it. So, I was going to go military outpost and do some trading with the, the military people there. We just unlocked St. Mary's Church is known for its charitable priest, Olake Alice. The church has recently been devastated and Olake's fate is unknown. Uh, we can expect piles of rubble, so a shovel might come in handy. A group of armed men are said to be occupying the vestry now. Going there could be dangerous. Okay, so that does not sound like somewhere I want to go. City Hospital, though. There's a fire. Numerous bandit raids, and yet it still operates... Some wards still admit patients and save lives. Oh, shit. Okay, so the hotel. Small yet luxurious hotel. Previous owned by the traveling. See, presented by, by some armed thugs. Screams sometimes heard coming from the building, but it's best keep, to keep away from it. And then the construction site. military wrestled control over this area from the rebels we could scavenge whatever the rebels left behind um but there is a risk of encountering military patrols my thing is i i, I don't have any weapons you know what i mean So I don't I don't know. I've been here. I mean, maybe this priest will hook us up. You know what I mean with some uh, some food and meds. It says there's a lot of stuff here, so we're gonna check out this. We're gonna check out this place. Screw it. Um. Or sh <sighs> actually, I should probably try to go make that trade. Yeah, you know what? Let's go make the trade. We'll go we'll go check out this military outpost. Um possible trade. These soldiers have a lot of goods that they're willing to trade, especially for alcohol or cigarettes. And we got cigs. But be careful. Um 
equipped, so I'm gonna bring all my SIGs. Holden! Hey, welcome to the family. Thank you so much for the membership. All right, there we go. So we're in good shape. We're in good shape. I got some cigarette stuff that we can sell. Um, that guy needs to be fed. Try to do it. He might die. I don't know if I can do that. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and uh, check out this military place. Yeah, we do need some weapons. Oh shit, oh, oh, okay, we're pissing them off, we're pissing them off. Where'd he go? Okay. Did he not want to trade with me? There we go. Oh, they do got weapons. There we go. Okay, so let's... Oof. Just trying to just get the gun, dude. He won't even trade one bandage for the, all these cigarettes? This dude won't trade me shit! You want booze, man. What the hell? Well, that was a waste of a fucking looting run. Uh, does it, I don't know where this game takes place. That was a fail, guys. That was a that was a fail. That was, that was bad. Um, I can't even cook up any food. We're out of meat. So this is going to cut into our food supply pretty bad. And we could check the trap. Bait's still in there. Uh, 
I can't garden yet. I gotta get, um... We gotta get more materials, but I wasted all my freaking time last night. I thought we would be able to get some good stuff from that trade. We didn't get shit. Damn, starting off with three people is tough, man. I think I would have rather had two. Honestly. She's tired and hungry, yep. Let's have her eat some veggies. Still hungry? Lady, you gotta... You gotta understand, we're working with scraps here. Yeah, having to try to like feed three people, this is, it's tough. It's definitely tough. Uh, I can do a filter, so let's make one of these. And we'll do, we'll get some more water going. Honestly, I just, I gotta say, pregnant lady has been holding her own though. You know what I mean? She's she's been putting in she's been putting in some time. She's the one that does all the stuff around the base while our scavenger and, and guard sleep every night. We got about one day's left of food. Yeah, the fact that she can't guard kind of sucks. So I'm gonna go check and see what it requires to get some heat in this place. Simple heater. So that's not too that's not too expensive. So I got to upgrade this if we want to get the saw blades, but we need actually quite a few components in order to upgrade like 30. So well, you guys were not lying. This is a hard ass game. <laughs> they need to make a Fallout game like this. We got it. We got so we need a lot of building resources, but now we're getting back into our food deficit. I mean, I got enough food for one more day. Might have to might have to just go rob some people. Maybe, maybe that's how you succeed in this game, just by stealing everything. They did make Fallout like this?
Uh, they stay the same hunger state for two days. Okay. I mean, it is the apocalypse type of situation. You know, being a little hungry, I think, should be the norm. The old people aren't dead. Oh, we just got more new place. Supermarket. But people are still uh, trying to scavenge it for supplies. We can expect to meet other scavengers there, so it's probably best to not get in their way. Some doors might still be locked. A crowbar could come in handy. Yo, there it is. There it is. We got locked the brothel, too. Get laid for a can of meat. This is the place mothers will do some really kinky stuff to get food for their children. Uh, it's a big building, well guarded by local thugs. They have plenty of goods and are eager to trade. Uh, I think we should probably avoid that place. Warehouse. A uh, huge amounts of food, huge amounts of materials, lots of meds. This sounds like where we need to go. This used to be a warehouse of a big store. Currently, it's used as a hideout by a groom group of armed thugs. But it's very dangerous. So I don't want to mess with these dangerous places until we have some way to de defend ourselves. Semi-detached house. There are people living in the other half. Apparently, they aren't hostile and have lots of stuff to barter, even food and meds. Let's remember, it takes something to trade. Okay. Yeah, I think I want to hit the supermarket, though. Oh, shit! Mistakes were made. Came out with the wrong person. Oh. They got a gun. Okay, should be enough here for both of us. Don't worry. Okay. Woo! I wish we came here with... This loot run was kind of like a mixed bag. I got some moonshine though. We could bring that to military people, but 
freaking came with the wrong person. Hold on, let's go loot down here. Bandits are pretty nice, though. They're not giving me a hard time. I think I might drop the cigarettes. Need more components. Wait, what happened? What did I say? Don't mess with him? Did they leave? Our inventory is so full. Okay, there we go. So we're full up completely. Let's run to the exit. Get the hell out of here. So it wasn't like insanely lucrative, but we got we got some alright stuff. They stole two of my- oh my god, are you kidding me, dude? They were a tough, mean bunch, so they put up a fight and did some harm. We had some weapons. 
but not enough for everyone. Marco was wounded by the attackers. Walked off with many valuable things. Starting to feel a bit unwell. Slightly sick. God damn it, guys. Can she lay it down? Yeah, so she could sleep it off. Um. If it gets worse, I do have some herbal medicine. But we need to do something about the, the, the temperature. It is getting cold in here. Hope we got enough components to do the heater. I didn't. Shit. Oh, we got we got meat right there in the trap. So actually, we'll have her go cook up a meal real quick. Hey, Carlos, I appreciate that. Seriously, thank you so much, man. So I'll do two. So we're able to stretch our food out a little bit. There we go. Is that the guy that brought us food? So us again, the military intensified shelling of our area, and we decided we need to re reinforce our improvised shelter in a cellar. We've got the necessary materials. We could use an extra pair of hands. Maybe you could help. Oh, so they just want us to send somebody to help them? Oh. Okay. So she's just going. Down here and reset the trap. Do this. Yep. We'll have him rest up. Yeah, it ties up one of our people, but it's all good. I don't have enough stuff. Uh, we're doing all right on food. It's just a matter of do I want to take that booze and them, the cigs and shit. I, I don't know where we want to go. Honestly, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of where I want to scavenge. Maybe the feeder. <laughs> what are you trying to say? You got you trying to say that I'm not feeding her? She got that morning sickness. There's no way she's actually going to have that baby, though, right? So we can't manage that. Did you imagine if I actually started with kids? Yeah, I'm so glad we don't. We didn't get the kids. We got tons of food.
funny thing is we sent the pregnant lady out to help the the people. <laughs> Guys, almost 300 likes. Thank you so much. Yeah, you can loot the same place twice, Priscilla. Go back and get what you didn't get the first time. I think this would be brutal with kids. I wouldn't mind getting a garden. Kids can't help, they only consume. So they can't even do stuff around the base like clean up trash and shit? That's rough. I could, I could make some weapons, yeah, let's see. But the thing is, I only have one active guard. So I, uh, so I can only, because pregnant lady can't stand guard. That's the issue. I got enough weapons. I got a crowbar and a knife. But yeah, pregnant lady can't can't guard the base. Oh, I didn't send out pregnant lady. Pregnant lady's sleeping right here. We sent out her. No, I we No, this is pregnant lady. So pregnant lady can't even guard the base right now. So we'll just have her sleep, I guess. We're gonna have our base unguarded. But since we're unguarded, we'll bring a weapon with us. We'll go check the church. I I don't have a shovel, but it's fine. Just in case. Did got wrecked. A lot of stuff for bullets, it seems. Oh shit, who is that? Who is that? Who was that?
It's close. I need a saw in order to get the goods out of here. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff under there. Another saw to go that way. We can go down lower, though. Hopefully we're not making too much noise. It's going to take forever. Dead light? What is dead light? Is it another game like this? Because this game is hardcore, man. This shit is hard. I'm barely like... Oh, we're not even going to clear this all fast enough. There's no way. Clear that other rubble pile in time. Uh, he just got wounded in a, in a robbery. Uh, it didn't tell me. It's just a slight wound. It didn't tell me what it caused it, though. Kind of ran a little further than I wanted to, but Please don't get robbed again. Please don't get robbed again. Now safely back. Marcos was sir. Oh my god, they stole. Olivia has a deep wound. Pregnant lady has a deep wound. He's your white bit. Muhammad, how you doing? It's nothing I can do. I don't... I don't know what I can do. You know what I mean? Shh. 
she's wounded and recovering in bed. Okay, so we just need a little more wood and we'll be able to craft the heater. We definitely want to get that going soon. Um, but Marco will get him to sleep a little bit. She's super tired. Um, we'll have pregnant lady get up. She can rest later. Oh, damn. She's like super wounded. Nah, pregnant lady's not killed. She's just, she's jacked up though. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm I'm trying. I'm trying, but this is really hard. Let me check my inventory. So what do we got? What do we get from uh we got pure alcohol? We got some moonshine. Yeah, we got some stuff that we could probably trade. Our food situation is Trader, awesome. There we go. Just what we needed. Alright, so we might look into trying to get one of those bandages from this trader. Do need some wood. So we're gonna grab. All of that. Let's see. What does he want for that? Give him the coffee beans. Give him that. Two quality cigs. Still not enough. A couple electronic. There we go. Okay. Let me see here. Would love to buy this food off him, but let me see about this bandage. See if we could trade him for his canned food here. So that's four things of uh, canned food. That's that should be probably stupid expensive. Give him that. Alcohol. Still not doing it. Minus one of the canned foods. Let me see if I get rid of these. There. That's good enough deal. Two things of food. I had to try. <laughs> Maybe we can squeeze a little water out of them. So we got her a bandage. Oh, send him home. So our food situation's looking a little bit better. I should be able to now build the uh let's get her healed up really quick with the bandage. I'm used to playing State of Decay, you know what I mean? I got bandages for days. In this game, a bandage is fucking worth gold.
Other girl's still awake? Why aren't you asleep, lady? Okay, let's get this heater built. She's carrying next month's roast dinner. <laughs> well, we we were, hey, we were able to get our heater built. We got some food. Oh shit! I forgot we got to heat it. No, no, you go to sleep. I need stuff to burn, too. The game is killing me, man. If I gave her a yeah, we gotta get a gun. If I feel like if we had a gun for it would help with raids, but getting a gun doesn't seem very easy to do in this game. Okay, so I did throw a heat. Some fuel in there. Place is warming up a little bit. All right, we're looking good. But now it's going to be... It's going to take a lot to keep this place... Like, constantly having to, like, heat the place. Yo, does it, like, get colder? Yo, wintertime's going to be brutal. I didn't rob the old couple cheers. It wasn't what it looked like. Yeah, so we're warming the place up a little bit. Um, yeah, you're fine. I bandaged it, lady. I bandaged it. But I think this is a good time. We'll, we'll end it here. Let me see. How do I save? Um, but we'll end it here for tonight. Uh, I still got one more game I want to mess around with tonight before we uh, I go to sleep. So I do appreciate you guys for hanging out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about this game. This shit is hard. It's probably one of the hardest survival games I've ever played. And we're barely scraping by. Day nine. But hey, we only... We got all our stuff fair and square. You know, I haven't had a resort to any savagery or anything like that. We've just been straight looting. You know, all good stuff. Helping every person we've met. It's been good. It's been good. So the next game we're going to mess around with is called, I guess it's called Survive the Nights. I don't know what that is, but we're going to check it out. Uh, but thank you guys again for 300 likes. Uh, give me a couple of minutes. I'm going to drop this one down. We're going to start the next one. But yeah, like I said, let me know what you guys think about this game in the comments. I, I, I've had a lot of fun with this. This shit is hard. I didn't murder anybody. I didn't kill anybody. No, I was... I, I've been good. <sighs> Alright, but give me a couple minutes, guys, and I'll be back with another live stream. So thank you guys again. If you haven't on your way out, smash that like button. If you guys are enjoying the content, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.